we got ourselves Chicago all on the team one with the rap over in the back ready to go with the ultimate V's. We got us as murder wing as an I almost was gonna say Aug Evoker, but no, he's a straight up dev. The developer evoker into a trinket off of that silence. Wait, why is he shrinking a four hour thing? Oh, it's because you were frozen. That's why, because it seriously straight just said four hours there for a second. Because you went immunity. I understand now. Trying to go for a bit of healing. Stay mobile. Hockey has plenty of instant cast. So he's actually going to get himself a bit of a setup. Fade really quickly. Still trying to get dots on the murder. Does go in for a quick breath. Doesn't have an interrupt. The murder might be going down. Though. It's like murder is about to get murdered. Try to see if he can escape the damage. Got himself plenty of healing. The uh, the green magic as well as living flame is actually doing number. All the walls have been used already. He's letting his walls down right now. Literally spent in all of his mana. As Hockett trying to see if he can get himself an angle around the court. It does go for the stun. Root doesn't quite stop him. He's going to be murdered. Having to deal with the dot damage of Hockett for a little bit here. Trying to see if he can find a way to recover. As he's got no mana at all. At least the dots are not the most hardest hitting damage for hockey unless you can get a bunch of like dps and roll a bunch of them into like a big clump a big damage combo like that's the only way he could really get a bunch of like rot pressure going hockey wait murder can't go for interrupts without being silenced hold on it's like a physical kick it's like a range kick that's so good i haven't even thought about it that's so good for him fear to follow dark ascension full mind games doesn't break the fear into a full-on void turn the man can't do much except for for a deep breath just flying out of there just zooming out of this place looking for self-healing while he's got a little bit of mana He's got himself a little bit of the renewal recovery as he goes in for shatter hockey's with a quick stun murder cannot really go aggressively at all he's got himself disintegrates he can maybe get himself a bit of damage hockey's actually taking huge hits right now does go in for i think for a fade for just a second looking for a bit of recovery murder actually get himself lots of pressure got himself a kick on a holy hockey does get himself a disperse but murder is rotting down he's got himself a wall looking for disintegrates but hockey's pops out of that disperse really quickly with a quick shadow or death consuming dragon soul and bails out out of there as chicago i think is trying to give him as much of an honor duel as possible i actually like the amount of damage dev evoker can do it's just the setup you're playing super defensive the time you actually get to go aggressive it is actually good like the, the getting some channels of disintegrates fire uh your empowerment abilities big shatter it is a huge combo but it takes a second before it can really materialize. As Hockey's trying to see if he could maybe use the pillar to kind of dodge out of Chicago. Mind gives together with a full void charge. Chicago get hit with a horror. Hold on a second. That's a lot of damage taken. Does go for Rudin to Hockey's looking for a bit of an escape behind the pillar. Hockey's is a fast in the approach, though. He is ready. He's smelling blood. Feeling pretty good after the Evoker match. Trying to see if he can take down Chicago. The dot and the rod is actually really is getting to Chicago little by little. Dampening not super high right now. Only three minutes into the match. 11% healing reduction. But he's doing just fine. Fade, I think, really early for hockey. Silence of the Chicago as they're sending out Lava Burst. Every single one of those Mind Blasts and all those do build up quite a bit of pressure. A bit of damage. Hockey, ruined for a second. Trying to see if he can get himself a bit of cover behind the pillar. But why he's got line inside of Chicago, whatever damage he can get is best. That's going to be a bunch of pets actually attacking Chicago right now. Even reducing some of his healing with a shot at Typhoon around the corner. That's actually quite a lot of pressure. Fear into Chicago as he does send Hockey's flying. The root is going to stop the Shadow Priest for just a second. Trying to see if he can uh, close the gap with Chicago. Lightning Lasso and goes to the other side of the pillar together with the root totem to try to separate away from the Shadow Priest as well as his army of pets and fields. Perfect opportunity for Hawkins to maybe get a bit of a heal. But the man has such a good pressure there. So he has such a good standing for a good bit. That's a lot of output. And just to lose it all is just unfortunate. He is playing to short cooldowns though. So he's going to have a lot of opportunity to have himself more goes than this. He also got himself plenty of defenses coming back. So you could always play it super, super like passively. Stunned Chicago with horror effects hitting him. Does go for the knockback with a root right after. Yet another knockback yet again. Just trying to go for as much range damage. But Chicago is just rotting to those tentacles right now. Nothing much they could really do besides hide behind the pillar and catch a couple of heals here and there. Hawk is still trying to see if he can get himself a better angle on him. But with the Earth Elemental, that's always a stun opportunity for Chicago. So maybe we'll be able to land a bit better control onto Hawk him. If Hawkins has himself anything like a silence, stun, fear back up, just to control Chicago for just a second, silence, maybe you can kind of combo off of that, like a primer, doesn't really go for it. The Shadow War deaths are hurting you a little bit. 
but the lava burst on top of the shadow board deaths are definitely not helping the situation grounding totem try to go for a void torrent was not able to really maximize the value pi got used but couldn't really get much value out of that full torrent that would have been huge damage for hockey's perfect opportunity for uh chicago with a grounding totem though got himself a uh what looks like a tentacle behind him Siphon definitely on the other side of the room, releasing the healing. Mind games with a void bolt coming in right now. Does get to avoid it barely with a wall leaping behind the pillar. Does have plenty of mobility. That is something that's gonna help out Chicago tremendously. Root around the corner. Also, Seal holds on to the earthy elemental, so he gives him a little bit of extra health to work with. With a trinket out of hockey's out of the stun, trying to see if he can get himself a much better angle. Mind play and center to on Chicago, knocking up the shadow piece for a second. Both of them are kind of low. Hawk is trying to see if he can go counter aggressive with a void or a vampiric touch. Well, Chicago also uses using the guardian try to see if whatever damage they can do will transfer into healing as well hawk is knocked out in the open cannot find any refuge behind the pillar gives chicago the pillar advantage and can just keep pressure rolling onto hawk is has himself no disperse for a bit does he have himself uh does prepare i don't even know if this is available just rotting down to the lava burst little by little chicago finding a good angle and just putting the pressure on the guy like Teddy up next and actually hawk has played that for a while huh between him and the evoker as well as chicago the castle duels are actually kind of fun to watch the pillars i think do make it either fun or less fun but i think the the back and forth around this middle pillar with those two is actually kind of enjoyable to watch i just wish shadow priest had a little bit more mobility if anything because i feel like if hockey's had a bit more mobility or at least ways to break out of roots more regularly um i think it would have been pretty close is that a DFA as an outlaw? He's just gonna take you? I love that interaction. You DFA on him and he just flips you behind him. Just knocks you back. Can I shout to Chicago try to see if you can bail out of there with a wind um, gust? Gust of wind? Is that what it used to be called? It's like then you try to see if you can just pistol you down, riddling you with, riddling you with bullets. Wall for Chicago looking to dampen some of those damage taken, but can't really go anywhere. You're basically entrapped by the rogue. The next stun is probably gonna be the end of you, except it's super DR'd. Hex. Does get a full hex. Wait, you can DFA while a frog? Huh? I didn't know that. You can DFA as a frog? Wait a second. That's actually kind of cool. I didn't know that at all. Is that because you have like full control of your character? Because there are some weird things you can see with as a frog. I think you can faint as a frog. I think you could sip a cup as a frog. Like there's certain, you're not completely polymorph like you are with mage. So you're polymorphed and like disoriented walking all directions but you're like calf control of your character and certain abilities i guess through the wild spaghetti code do sneak through knock back at Lanthania doesn't really have does have a dfa to close the gap but doesn't really have immediate ways to close the gap there with a knock up out of chicago with a lasso right after just trying to see if you can dribble Lanthania. make sure his head doesn't get rattled too much he's just getting knocked everywhere he's gonna have a it's gonna, it's gonna, he's either gonna have a head spin. He's either gonna have have his head spinning that, or he's gonna get a concussion pumping against all the walls and all the pillars in this arena. Stun in Chicago, full set of gum. You have a kid shot to follow, maybe? No, a big bowl, big a meteor slamming down as a fire elemental joins in. Chicago, not a lot of health available. He used to go for as much self healing as possible. Lanthania does have a way to break out of that knockback and just ends up riddling down Chicago, taking him out, gunning him down instead of the black rook hold arena oh no dude oh no class actual variable again only five of arms impossible right now those changes you think so potentially yeah but if you want to bring another character up you're more than welcome to my guy corrode onto lanthania i think ultimate is gonna i don't think he even needs to go for a full death mark or anything he just he just loaded up lanthania full of dots and just gave him a heart attack there it is i kind of love the heart attacks by assassination rogues load them up with dots let the dots tick down on them little by little and just let them rot and it's kind of cool i like it but it's a lot of damage you got to put in uh to get them low enough though especially in death uh death bark i keep calling it death chakram all the time i don't know how i started calling because i know what ability i want to call right death mark being the bleed for assassin's rogues i keep calling it a death chakram but it's basically like same big opening for damage sin getting fully loaded up ultimate beast potentially could go for death mark does go for the death mark hold on sin could go for a cloak just to remove it he doesn't go for it instead he's just gonna go for a vanished kidney shot 
I don't know if you meant to do that. Trink out of Ultima, Trink out of Sin, still rotting down. Ultima trying to see if he can catch a reset. Sin just blasting the guy out. He's got his gun loaded and ready to go. Ultima with the cloak. Sin has not even thought about pressing cloak whatsoever. He's just using those vanish resets and shadow mods just to keep the pressure going. Those ambushes are just absolutely tear it apart through the other rogue. Does cloak towards the very tail end there with wrap up next. As a guy looking for Sin. If he can get himself a good stun before Sin really gets to go. I think he will win because last time I think Sin just ran circles around the guy, just trying to build comp points over the age shadow meld or shadow step rather. I been to follow for a rep. Kidney shot as he has himself a full go, does not want to trinket it. Technically, he has himself a big go, but doesn't want to trinket Sin with the cheat death. Potentially does grapple out. Maybe got himself to pick up vanish to follow. Maybe a sap. No cheap shot. Super aggressive. Ridiculously aggressive. Although that a second rep, she be able to take you, right? Yeah, cheat death proc it pretty quickly. I was gonna say for a second, like there's no shot, right? Sham goes in full on um what are they called? Static totem metamorphosis out of it with this other sham does go for the trinket lava burst rude. I think as he tried to go in for the hunt, I don't think they completed though. I don't think he stopped the hunt like midway through, did he? Darkness down, made it to go back into the darkness, not feeling that good. Oh, 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 oh okay, hold on a second. What was that? What just happened there? He had kind of like decent bit of health. Somehow, I think he reversed magic to dispel flame shock. That knocked him up in the air with the volcanic and then Meteor slammed down on the guy. And I think he just had like a big lava burst combo there all at once, right? Three things that hit you really hard happen all together. <laughs> What was that? Blood Dagger up next. Gonna get knocked back on by Sham, but has himself a step to reposition back in. Big secret technique. Full Seps swollen in. Seps is no longer has this blue hue, but it's just like a light green. You can barely see it unless you know exactly what to look for. It still is a lot of damage. Sham trying to go for War Stomp heal. Not much you can do. Blood Trinkets just to get a Shadow Strike. That is so greedy. The greed. Because you're going up against the Demon Hunter who can lock you down in stuns the greed now you just got to be hoping that you got yourself cheat death that's all you can really do in this situation huh my goodness i don't think you needed to throw a trinket there like i know you really wanted to make sure the guy doesn't get to escape but i it's just <laughs> patience is a virtue am i right i am i'm interested to see how this is gonna go because you don't have no cloak either trinket immediately for mutation just trying to see if you can veer around the rogue does go for a full stun big blade dance to follow oh my that's just that's exactly what i meant that's exactly what i meant well i'm like you know what that's greed that you may need the trinket later that's what i was talking about that's what i was talking about what are these one shots here first the sham i mean i guess the demon hunter was kind of lowish on health sort of kind of but like it just feels like it just kind of surprising damage out of just left field. At least for me, it feels kind of surprising. I just didn't expect that kind of like a, a big go like that. Let's get another one going, boys.